Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. This video is part of the viewer comment response series where I respond to a comment made by a viewer against one of my videos. And the particular comment for this video goes as follows. I love watching your handbag videos. Thank you. I'm wondering if you would consider doing a capsule wardrobe. I'd like to hear about some under the radar clothing brands, not simply buying a piece here and there, but building a wearable quality wardrobe. I get a lot of uh, questions uh, posted in my comments, more so now that I'm taking requests, but this particular comment jumped out at me because for the most part of this year, I have been umming and ahhing about changing my dress style. I've worked really hard at maintaining my body size pretty much my entire adult life. And as you know, I'm very much about buy better, buy less. So my focus has been on quality pieces, which I've been wearing for the last 10, 15, 20 years, all through my 20s, 30s, and now mid 40s. And I got to the point where I thought, I, I want to change. I want to do something different. I'm very much in the luxury space. First impression is important. I want clothes that are representative of me, my personality, uh, creating a good impression. And this particular question literally pushed me over the edge. So thank you to my subscriber and it forced me to get my butt into gear. What I'm going to talk about is three things in this video. I'm going to focus on two British brands and then I'm also going to talk about my own personal capsule wardrobe. Focus is very much on my lifestyle and also the fact that I am petite in build and height. So it's going to be uh, a, a wardrobe that uh, is focused very much on that. Feel free to tweak it accordingly and also tweak the numbers I recommend, the pieces of uh, the particular clothing items and the numbers based entirely on, of course, on your lifestyle, your taste and your budget. I'm Anasusa Gonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. So whether you're young and starting out and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, or you're into luxury, but you want to focus more on the brands that operate very much under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch, then my content is very much geared towards you. The two brands that I'm going to talk about are very comfortably in the mid tier and both confidently own the respective spaces that they're in. The first brand, I've already spoken about this brand before, Joseph. Uh, I'm going to attach the video above and I was showing you around the Joseph multi-brand boutique in Knightsbridge. Directly opposite that multi-brand boutique is a Joseph store. Within a five, seven minute uh, walking distance is the Fold and the Fold is the second brand that I'm going to be talking about and they're on the border with Belgravia. I'm aware both brands are British and my subscriber is American who requested this video, but I get a lot of requests for American brands. I'm going to talk about them uh, in due course. Uh, this year hasn't been easy to travel, as you know, and I've had two major trips out uh, to Africa, but I'm going to touch on the United States next year. So I'll start to talk increasingly um, more about uh, American brands, but two brands I'm going to talk about in this video, Joseph and The Fold, both ship globally. Looking specifically at Joseph, Joseph is very much a brand focused on your luxury basics. So think of trousers, uh, blazers, shirts, skirts, dresses, knitwear very much um, the oversized look in terms of the style of the brand. When I started buying from Joseph, it was um, incredibly oversized, uh, but they have now muted it down and, and it's not as oversized, but um, Joseph's style is typically oversized. It's very much British tailoring meets your French femininity, your French chic in terms of the fabrics used, silks, your cash hair, for example. Late last year, um, they got two new creative directors, uh, husband and wife duo, Anne and Frederick Dyer. And their first uh, collection was the Foundations. Foundations is their interpretation of basics. And they are basics that they state every woman should have. And then you build from there. They have the slight oversized element to them. It's very much about the shape. And they come in three core colors, which will be available 
all the time black navy and cream and then seasonally they'll add different colors but the the thinking is you buy the the core basics and then you just build on from there because they're the perfect foundation for every woman the second brand the fold um is very much focused on your women's workwear it's for the discerning woman who wants nothing but quality. They describe their clothes as smart enough to wear to work, but also cool enough to wear to a party. They're incredibly versatile. And what I really like about uh, the fold is the clothes are classic in terms of the design, but they're incredibly elegant. Joseph is your elevated basics, but the fold is very much your elegant, your stylish, your very chic pieces. A uh, couple, uh, a pair of uh, Joseph trousers with um, a chic blouse from the fold. And you can dress it up, dress it down, but you look fantastic. And you're working with two brands that are short quality. People talk about, oh, you spend a lot of money on things and it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. But with Joseph and The Fold, I can tell you these two brands are short quality in terms of uh, the materials they're using and the construction of their pieces and the detail that's gone into the work. The Fold is very much focused, as I mentioned, on workwear and their unique selling point is the customization element. When you order from The Fold, it takes one to two weeks to turn your piece around because it's made from scratch. They have a lot of fabric and once they get an order, they make the items. They don't have inventory just sitting for you to, uh, to buy. It's a great brand if you are two different body sizes. Um, because then they can customize whatever you like and, and work with your particular measurements, whatever your variables are, they can turn around the perfect piece for you. With both brands, they have fantastic stylists and they will spend as much or as little time as you would like. You make an appointment with whichever brand and they put together a selection of items and you go in and try on things and then work from them. With the fold, they send you detailed questions and then by the time you arrive, they have pretty much um, a, a wardrobe, a capsule wardrobe for you, for you to start with and then they tweak from there. But I was incredibly impressed with the service from both. I haven't bought anything from either brand uh, because I've been traveling, but I know what I would like and I have, I've had a couple of weeks to think about what I would like from each brand. But my capsule wardrobe, um, the foundation of my capsule wardrobe will be from these two brands. And I've mixed and matched the different clothing items depending on what their respective strengths are. My capsule collection, my capsule wardrobe, I'm going to use both terms interchangeably, but I'm essentially talking about the same thing. It's the foundation pieces of my wardrobe and the focus is very much on a work capsule collection. Luxury falls very much within your creative industry, so the emphasis tends to be less on your overly formal attire such as your suits, but I personally would still like to look smart, but in a more effortlessly well put together, considered manner. My capsule collection consists of nine core clothing items in varying quantities. I'll talk about those, expand in a bit, but the core items are a jacket, a coat, shirt, t-shirt, trousers, jeans, knitwear, dress, and a skirt. Looking specifically at coats, I'm largely based in the United Kingdom and we have very distinct seasons. You have the cooler months uh, where temperatures are either starting to rise or fall. Um, rise, we're coming out of uh, winter, spring, fall, temperatures are starting to fall, heading towards winter, autumn, I am recommending, and I'm actually going for two coats in my capsule collection, a lighter coat for your spring and autumn, but instead of your conventional coat, I'm going to go for a coat again. I first spoke about the coat again in the video attached above where I was recommending Christmas gift ideas for women. And I spoke about a French brand called Latan and Latan are one of the brands at the forefront of your cotigans. Cotigans are your thickly and decoratively knitted um, cardigans that double up as coats. Wear them with a couple of layers and you're wonderfully warm. The fold have a couple, a few uh, cotigans, uh, thick cardigans, add a couple of layers and you're fine. Particularly if you're in a country where your temperatures don't drop too much below zero degrees Celsius. The true winter coat that I'd like to recommend is from Joseph and in particular, their cashmere sender coat. It comes in two lengths. You have the long length 
Uh, on the model, it's three quarters in length, but I'm petite in height, as I've told you, and therefore it's a, a full length coat uh, for someone of my height, five foot two. Uh, they also have the same coat in a shorter uh, version, which, for, uh, which literally falls just below the hips. I'm highly recommending the full length one. It's cashmere, it's soft, it's luxurious, but the beauty of it is it's not overly heavy. And one of the things that really stands out about Joseph coats is that they're typically not lined and that's so that you can layer them underneath the coat. Sender coat is a wide fitting coat with a belt and you just cinch it in at the waist. And that applies to both the long and also the shorter version of the coat. Looking at jackets, um, I don't really wear jackets if I'm honest. If I want to dress something up, I tend to go for a very smart shirt or a, a two-piece combination. But the fold own the space when it comes to jackets. I particularly like the style of their jackets. They're incredibly feminine and it's very much about the details, whether it's pleats, it's folds, it's rouging. But they pay a lot of attention to the quality of the design, how it's executed, the craftsmanship, the material, the colors, the textures, and of course the designs as well. They have a number of, um, I would say, core styles and they replicate those styles in a number of different materials and also designs. So you can mix and match. And the one I particularly like is the Belleville. The Belleville comes in two lengths. The sleeves are two lengths, a three quarter length and a full length. I particularly like the three quarter length. I like showing off my, uh, my wrists and then also um, the very subtle V. Really like the, the Belleville because of the detail, the rouge detail and the stitching. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, wear it with a matching skirt. Uh, you, could dress, you could dress it up either for a party, even a wedding, depending on the color, your accessories, your hat, your fascinator, the clutch, the purse, you, uh, the shoes you wear, and then a different color for a conference, for a meeting, something high powered where you want to look really smart. You want to power dress without actually wearing a suit. I really like the Belleville in particular, in particular the cream color and also the, the khaki version, but it comes in so many different color options and also different styles that you can mix and match, particularly if the textures work. Looking at t-shirts, I don't know if it's an age thing, but I just find I don't really like t-shirts that much and I'd rather uh, more towards a nice top, a nice blouse or a camisole, but you can't go wrong with just a plain white t-shirt. You could also throw in um, a complementing or accent colored t-shirt to work, to work with your color palette. But Joseph have just a simple round neck, um, loose fitting t-shirt. But for t-shirts, I'd be more inclined to recommend Jigsaw and Cos. I'm going to attach above a video where I talk about t-shirts and recommend a few brands. But when it comes to your more casual, as I mentioned, I'm more inclined to go towards either a camisole or just a nice simple silk top. Looking at shirts, shirts are very much a staple for my wardrobe and something I'll have going forward. Joseph and The Fold have very different styles of shirts. I like Joseph for the simple shirts. They have um, a white shirt as part of their foundation. It's slightly longer at the back, a plain white simple shirt. You can't go wrong with that. Dressed up, dressed down with skirts, with uh, long shorts, with jeans with trousers um, you can't beat a well-made crisp tailored white shirt the shirts i particularly like and why i really like the fold one of the main reasons why i like the fold is their blouses their shirts their tops they do them beautifully the detail the craftsmanship the colors the textures the materials are fantastic um, incredibly feminine, very elegant, stylish tops that you can dress up or dress down, depending entirely on the shoes and the accessories that you go for. When I went for my um, capsule collection fitting with the fold, I was told I'm more a cool toned color. So I picked up some very interesting color options I would never ordinarily have considered. But for tops, for shirts, for blouses that are your more chic, your more stylish, you cannot beat the fold, particularly for your smarter work wear.
Next item on my capsule collection is trousers and I wear a lot of trousers and I'm more inclined to start with possibly two or even double and go for four smart pairs of trousers. One, a close fit and specifically the Garbandine from Joseph. Uh, they have two styles in their Garbandine, um, either Elliston or the Coleman, both close fit. And then uh, on the looser fit, I really like the fold. And in, in particular, the wool collots. The wool collots, because of my height, um, are actually not three quarter length, but full length for my height. And I don't need to get them tailored. They're the perfect length, the style, the cut works very well with my body shape. But I like your, your slightly quirkier, your edgier trousers from the fold. Very different to Joseph. Joseph are your more tailored, your simple, um, your elevated basics, your elevated everyday, your running errands. You want to look well put together with a smart pair of tailored trousers than Joseph. And they have literally a style for every body shape. But I like the fold trousers because they're very different. They've taken me out of my comfort zone in terms of the materials, the colors, the textures, the styles. And they complement Joseph. There's no overlap. Very different styles. I particularly like the collots, as I've mentioned. And I also like they have a khaki wool pair close fit uh, from the fold. So a more a closer fit pair of trousers from Joseph, the tailored look, and then um, something looser, something different, something wide, uh, fitting wide leg from the fold. Looking at jeans, the fold have a simple pair of skinny black jeans. Um, when it comes to your more casual trousers, where I'd clump in jeans, I'd be more inclined to go for the leather trousers from Joseph. Leather has always been something I've wanted to invest in and they have leather trousers, suede trousers and also leather leggings. And they're fantastic, the edgier, funkier alternative. But when it comes specifically to denim, I always go for and recommend a brand called AG. AG are fantastic when it comes to denim. The quality of their denim is phenomenal. The durability, the rinse, the color stays in the jeans. Now for the life of the jeans, they stretch and then bounce back in a measured way. You don't get a situation where they they stretch and never come back and um, they lose shape either in the knees, in the ankles or the waist like some other brands do. I cannot fault AG jeans and I'd be more inclined to go for a navy and also a black pair of jeans, specifically from AG. But the two brands I've spoken about, um, the fold have just a skinny pair of black jeans. Next item on my capsule collection is knitwear and Joseph do knitwear fantastically well. There are two styles I'd like to recommend from Joseph. The first is more your special occasion and in particular it's cash hair and it's made from 100% cashmere. It's very thin cashmere which you wear on occasion so it's not something that is durable and can be worn day in day out. Comes in a v-neck, a round neck and a high neck option. I particularly like the navy combination with the navy uh, gambadine pants so you have that monochrome look and I like monochrome as someone who's petite because it gives the impression of um, a taller physique. But um, the cash hair from Joseph and then for your more everyday, uh, their chunky knits come in the roll neck, the turtle neck, the V neck, the round neck. Um, and effortlessly matched with your closer fit trousers, with jeans, with wide leg. Uh, they're just very easy, uh, comfortable, well-made uh, pieces of knitwear to wear all through the winter, year in, year out. Next on my list are my final two items, dresses and also skirts. When it comes to dresses, um, Joseph don't have a lot of dresses, but there are two particular dresses, that, two particular dresses I'd like to highlight. The first is part of their foundations, a slip dress. Slip dress doesn't work for every physique. If you have a much fuller bust, it's a little trickier to, to wear, but I like the slip dress because of the style. It can be worn with chunky or the cash hair uh, knitwear on top. And then the bottom part is a skirt. The bottom part of the dress um, come, looks like a skirt. And that can be dressed up with heels, with sandals, with boots. Or you can wear the, uh, the silk dress with a jacket, with a coat again, as I've mentioned uh, earlier on, the coat when it comes to uh, a lighter winter coat. 
Um, Joseph also have a dress called uh, the Plissé Dare dress. It is sleeveless with um, the pleated skirt and that can be worn with a cardigan on top uh, or rather a chunky knit on top and then you have the pleated skirt underneath or the full dress can be worn um, to the theatre, it can be worn to a party, it can be worn to a number of occasions depending on whether you wear it as is and the accessories and of course whether you uh, put a chunky knit to dress it down. But when it comes to dresses, um, the fold have a, a much wider selection but more on your smarter side for work, can also be accessorized accordingly for your events but for dresses I'd be more inclined to go to the fold and then Joseph just have the slip dress which is something you can dress up or dress down depending on whether it works with your body shape. The final item is skirts. Um, as I mentioned before the slip dress can be worn with chunky knit um, or the the cash hair knit and then the bottom part is a skirt or they do have a slip skirt. And then with the fold, they have a much wider selection of skirts that can be uh, matched with the tops, whether it's a top, it's a jacket, whatever it may be, they have a wide selection of skirts. But I have given you um, a snippet of my capsule collection based on two brands. The focus is very much on quality pieces that are well made, they look good, they last uh, and stand the test of time. Very much buy better, buy less as the theme of, which is the theme of my channel. But any other questions, do let me know and in the summer I'll be sure to update with summer capsule pieces.